market. Sarah Schulte with the new details that we're learning. Sarah. Well, Mark, the Johnson administration has been looking all over the city for possible options. This one, this building right here, is being seriously looked at, even though it is in a manufacturing district. It sits in Alderman Walter Burnett's ward, and he says he definitely will expect, expect some opposition. It's a loft building across from a Marathon gas station and next to a viaduct. The 50,000 square foot building on the outskirts of Fulton Market is being considered as a temporary shelter for migrant families. As of late, the city started talking to me about it, so now I want to make sure we go look at it, work with the community, make sure that uh, people in the community are comfortable and not threatened by it. But not everyone is comfortable with it, especially Tom DeBoer. The Chicago Car Club owner rents office space in the building, which is about two-thirds full. Well, we have no plans to move out. We weren't informed about a migrant shelter until very recently. We have a long lease on our unit. We have no plans to leave at all. The building is a joint venture partly owned by Chicago developer Scott Goodman. He told Alderman Walter Burnett leases are up soon for all the tenants. Others have issues with the proposed plant because 344 in North Ogden is zoned for a planned manufacturing district, one of the city's most restrictive zoning. If the new mayor wants to remove this restrictive zoning, I know our community would be very happy to have that discussion. But the zoning issue and whether the development is legal, that discussion has to occur first before any development can happen there, any residential development. Worried about the possible disruptions of a migrant shelter in a business district, Brian Flanagan is against housing migrants here. He rents office space around the corner from 344 North Ogden. He chose the space because it's in a manufacturing district, not residential. And once you uh, once you pierce the curtain of, of uh, having businesses and manufacturing in this area and you bring residential in, well, it's not going to go backwards. And the proposed shelter is also right next to a daycare center. The owner did not want to comment. I'm not sure there's going to be pushback, but the, the fact of the matter is there's been pushback all over the city, and guess what? They do it anyway. And Alderman Burdett believes that this is probably going to happen anyways as well. As for that tenant that we spoke to that does not plan on moving out with a long-term lease, he says that he may file legal action. Live in the 300 block of North Ogden, Sarah Schulte, ABC7 Eyewitness News, back to you.